All right, what is going on, guys? It is Midnight Rains. We are back, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Forgotten Island. I already can't remember it. So, <laughs> we are on the third relic. I've already cleared all three of them. Um, this is, is this like day two or three now? That it's been out, and I've been trying out some teams. This is like the best team I can come up with. I'm going to kind of give you a team, and now it looks hard to have at the beginning, but I'm going to sub in and let you know some other stuff you can try. So how this works is you basically take no damage the entire first wave. He doesn't attack you. He doesn't do damage to you. All you have to do is DPS the boss down to zero. What happens afterwards is he explodes. Now, I've seen one person survive it, and he had a really good Tamira shield combined with, like, an immunity shield. It looked really complicated, hard to time, you know, because you have to kill him while the shields are up, or else you, you lose your shield, then you're out, and then you go in the next phase, and then you're, you're on cooldowns. So, if you have a fire dragon... <laughs> Your life will be a whole lot easier. Because what happens is the boss kills everybody. And then Fire Dragon revives. And then it goes in the next wave. And then you just res your whole team. Um, another way, if you really wanted to like RNG it, if you have like a revive gem, you know, because everybody just keeps those hidden somewhere, um, you could put that on like a Fermata maybe. And that would revive you but if you can't i don't know if you're if you're relying on a revive gem it's probably just safe to go with uh level two and i'll make vids on the other ones but right now uh relic three was really important because a lot of people are having trouble with it so instead of evgenia you could replace that with fermata if you have like a full team because after you do a fire drag res um you'll periodically lose a couple of your heroes. Instead of Iris, you could use another DPS. Um, even instead of your um, your Elry, mine's really tanky. It's built for TOT hard mode, so it kind of can take a hit or two. Uh, not too bad. It takes a little burn. Uh, Tamira shield helps that and look at my Tamira it's honestly not that good it's just a little bit of HP and high evasion and that's kind of high you know if you're really end game and then mine is kind of crappy um, so you know it's not a lot my Tamira is only level 32 um, everyone can get Tamira there's like no excuses now I mean everybody's like popping 40 Tamiras I took some months off so I'm a little behind and I didn't really like go for it so we'll get that done but you can replace those it's not a bad team I'll try to come up with something that doesn't need fire drag but for now you need fire dragon for that after res so instead of iris you could probably run um, another dps hero maybe and Wukong would work because the boss is going to spawn the four corners after you kill him. And that's going to um, pretty... I don't know if it's my speed is too low, but he casts where he reses four four adds in the corners. Kind of like a, like a Lena sweep. And then he instantly casts Reflect on them. So Lena would obviously... I mean, I don't know. If you... If you had Evgenia or maybe like a Fermata Res with Lena, you could like Lena sweep it and then go for a Res on Lena and then nuke again. He honestly doesn't have that much health after he revives for the second phase. It's just that there's so much Reflect going on that you have to tank it or you have to nuke him down super fast. So, all right, we're going to dive in here. I've been talking a little... Little, so uh, bear with me, guys. Just want to make sure you guys kind of get a rundown of what's going on. <clears throat> Grab some tea. All right, so I'm just going to do this so I can get the poison off real quick. 
and I'm just going to go into the nuke. If you have an iris and you do want a nuke, I suggest the uh, second skill first as it does more damage um, and it can crit higher. So get those out of the way. So I can get the cooldowns on that going. And then I'm actually going to use the fire dragon hit. It's going to apply a little bit of burn if it get lucky, but eh, usually sticks. Nope, didn't stick. That's fine. Does a little extra damage. And this is pretty much like the slowest part of the phase. So I know it's pretty, uh, pretty crazy. But this is where I'm talking about. Um, you do get hit with, uh, you know, anti-debuff. Um, I really don't see any point in cleansing it as you pretty much just don't have to worry about getting hit with anything. So, um, these buffs, the longer these buffs increase, or, well, they're technically debuffs, but it's like a buff to him. Uh, they eventually tick up to 99 and the higher those debuffs are, the more damage he does to you. So it's kind of like his buff, but it looks like a debuff. So, kind of weird how that works. I don't know why they did that, but it's all good. So, as you can see, this is the most exciting part. It is just kind of slowly killing him. And it's just because afterwards, he one-shots you anyway. So, there's no point in like, oh my god, I have to kill him super super fast in the first phase maybe if you had you know like a really good one shot hero um, you know what i thought would be cool is like i did want to make a giant sword i wonder if i made a giant sword <laughs> that had just like a lot of one shot potential or maybe like a chion that got lucky with prox and just see if I can kill him like super super fast that would be a cool video uh, we'll see how it goes right now it's just kind of like smooth sailing and there's the fire you get an extra little tick on there not too bad it's only like 2k damage I mean that's like a regular hit so and then it's hitting for like 16k yeah my iris is not like the uh super OP one shot iris it's more like a uh, it has high pin so I don't have to deal with Entel kind of iris <laughs> pretty sure once I get it up to 40 it'll be a better hero but it is hard to get these legends up to level 40 unless you're opening your back pockets you know what I'm saying <laughs> But yeah, it doesn't take too long. You can see the uh, buffs cap out at 99 for the uh, the boss, so none too bad. I don't know. Uh, I haven't gotten any legend or myth pets yet, and I've had like over 10, 10 mythic aids, so kind of disappointed but um it's all good i've seen some really good pulls already from uh people getting some some good stuff i've seen people get the pones pet but they don't have pones which is kind of that seems kind of frustrating i i would think that it would be better if you needed the unit in order to get the pet but i don't know maybe that's asking too much um but i think that would be a better incentive to get pets because right now i'm looking at that and i'm like oh yeah go for a myth go for a myth and then i'm like oh well what if i just get one that i don't have the unit for the pet or i have the pet but i don't have the unit and i'm like ah that's i'll just wait it out slow roll it i just been farming fort i do like the the new fort by the way going to that i know the um it's only like 50 for six keys. So I think that's actually a bit cheaper. Get like a free key. They used to be like 10 each. So pretty cool. So we're getting close to the end. I'm going to let my uh, cooldowns reset for Iris. Um, and just kind of slow roll it. And then the nuke will come off. And then the hard stuff will come out. 
you'll kind of see what I'm talking about when he hits zero. It's like a fucking cat with a wand. It's whoosh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Jenga, except with, like, a bomb. <laughs> okay, so that's what happens. All right, so we're going to the res. He's going to hit me once. I'm going to live. Um, probably Tamira shield out first real quick. And then he'll go for the units, and then I move, and then in comes the reflect. And usually what I do is I go for the... Um, Shield buff, and then I go for uh, Elry, because then they kind of have an extra hit in there, and then the heal, it's like a heal and a buff, so then when they start attacking me, I can start getting out the um, uh, dots on them, and that's the main thing I want. So, as you can see, we do that, and then we'll shield, and then I think he, like, hits a random person. And then you can see he's taken a lot of damage from the uh, poison. So dot damage is definitely a big help. Get that fire buff on there. And he's almost dead. So this is kind of what I'm talking about where it's just kind of like he's not that tanky, to be honest. I mean, I'm hitting him with a not-as-good Iris that can't even one-shot the minions and tanks that have the chance to get poison. And I'm not even landing the poison every time. Like, you see, like, there I didn't land it, there I didn't land it, you know? So it's not like, oh, my God. It's not like Wingfred one-shots, you know? It's not, not that bad. Ah, the revive gem went off. Cool. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> All right. So there we go. And uh, we'll see if we get anything. Seeing sometimes you get some uh, pets from those. So that's about it, man. That's uh, about sums it up. You know, pretty. It's not too shabby. I know the team is kind of uh, demanding at the moment, but yeah. Um, I'll see if I can come up with another team. I'll try to do... It's hard to regem and rerun all my units for a video like that with Fermata, but I, I could try to do, like, instead of uh, Evgenia, use, like, Fermata or something, or try to throw something else in. Maybe instead of Iris, I'll use Lena, and I'll try out that nuke, and we'll see what we can do. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you got any cool pets, and I will see you guys in the next video.